Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Med and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to import your own decals into Unreal Engine. First I will make a standard version and then an advanced version in the same video. And let's start. So I made this JPEG texture at first. It's a very basic. The black areas are in the mask translucent and the white areas are the areas that you can see. So if the area is more brighter, you can see it more. And I made this little sci-fi texture. So let's save it and let's create a new material and call this decal. We need to do a few things at first. Let's change this from surface to deferred decal, then to translucent and the decal blend mode to color normal and roughness. Okay. Now what we have to do is drag our mask in. You can create this yourself or just take one from the internet. Then to opacity. One thing for instanced meshes is use with instanced static meshes. Just click on that and you can save your material. Your decal is basically ready from here and you can apply this. You see there's an arrow going down. But if this goes to the wall, it will be applied to the wall. So let's make this a little bit smaller so it fits. And now you basically have your own decal and this was already the standard version, but now we do the advanced version. So go back into the decal and now we right click and search for texture sample parameter 2D. Let's call this mask. And this will be applied to the opacity. Let's grab our mask from here. Now let's copy and paste this with Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and this goes into the normal. Let's also call this normal. Then we want a switch parameter. Static switch parameter, and let's call this color texture. Okay, and this goes into the base color. What this does is we can define if we want only color or texture. So let's search for vector parameter for the color and another one of these for the texture. But let's say we only want color and let's grab a color. Yeah, let's just say yellow like this. Okay. And you can add those texture parameters for specular, metallic, roughness and so on too. Let's rename this to texture. And now you can save your material. Okay, and if we create a material instance and apply this to our wall, if we activate everything, you should actually see how the decal changes and we can just switch the colors from here. And so we can do that with the texture too, but I will leave it like this. And you can create as many instances as you like. And this is a very fast workflow from here. And you can also switch out the mask. So this is a very nice decal master material. And I hope you liked this video. If yes, leave a thumbs up. If not, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.